before working with you guys, I had to generate all the leads myself. Um, I was a one man team. And so it was, and don't get me wrong, door knocking can be fun, uh, but it's not the most pleasing thing to do uh, to create the leads. Yes, you can create leads that way, but it's a lot of work. Um, and so I knew that I needed the help. I needed professionals because one, I didn't have the time to um, fine tune my, my skills and my background in it to, to get to the level I wanted it to be. Um, and so, you know, we found you guys online and I, I did my due diligence and I got your emails, got signed up for your email marketing and just really got to know who you were without you even knowing who I was. I just yeah. lurked in the darkness for a while <laughs> in the shadows, just trying to, you know, get a feel of things. And I, I wish I moved forward sooner, but, um, yeah. you know, we had to do what I needed to do to feel comfortable with the company. And I will say I've ran into several contractors in the area, um, well-known companies. They think we've been around forever. Um, they're seeing our name everywhere. Um, we're, I mean, we're right above um, the number one contractor in this area. And they're wondering how we're doing it. Awesome. <laughs> so, awesome. I mean, awesome. only being in company uh, in business since March, they're like, they think we've been here forever. Any given marketing strategy, you got to fine tune it. And, and give the marketer uh, an opportunity to fine tune and to work back and forth. Cause it's just as much effort on my side to work with you guys. Um, and that's been my struggle. If I would have responded quicker on some things, we, we could have fine tuned some things quicker. Um, but yeah, it's when, when we've gotten things tuned up to where they needed to be uh, and dialed in, so to speak, uh, the phone just began to ring uh, more and more. And um, I'd say we're, we're almost on month five. Uh, but this fourth month has been our most, uh, the phones consistently ring. Monday and Tuesday of this week, um, we've had about 10 calls and, and I think one web, web submission just in two days. And that's phenomenal. Um, my expectations were for it to slow down over the winter. Yeah. And, and it seems to be uh, excelling. Um, I mean, we've got several out in the pipeline um, and so, yeah, first year hitting a million. And the um, first year is like, in the, you didn't even start at the beginning of the year, you started in March. So right. you have like two yeah. months, uh, two months, uh, like you have only 10 months, really. It's not, not yeah. like 12 months. So I, mean, I can't yeah. wait till the next year. We're going to do next year. Yeah. Um, I'm excited. Definitely. And, and who would you recommend us, us for? Like what type of roofing company would you recommend us for? Any roofing company. I mean, really from startup to, uh, the large companies, there's room for growth in any of them. And, and so I think it, just any roofing company that wants to grow, um, make the investment. It, it's investing. You, you might struggle at the beginning, but it's that fine tuning process that I talked about earlier that will truly um, get the results that you want. But you have to work as a roofing contractor. You got to set aside the time. And that's where I'm struggling right now is, yeah. you know, we get so busy and we have to set aside time to have conversations like this with you and with Colin and with Cameron um, and allow you guys to do what you guys do best. Help us grow our business. My name is Mauricio Cardinal from Roofing Marketing Pros. I'm today here with Austin Paparella from Southwest Commercial. And I'm very excited to share some of the results we've gotten from the campaign the last five months, I believe, right? Four or five months. Going on five. And I wanted to introduce Austin, get a little bit of information about you. Uh, so tell us uh, who you were before you started working with, with, uh, with us. Because I know you started this company this year, right? Yeah. So um, we launched our company in March of this year, March 8th to be exact. Um, I was... Uh, transitioning from Florida to Indiana. Um, I was in car sales and my brother-in-law, uh, there were some just sketchy things going on at the car lot I didn't like. So he offered me an opportunity to, to help him out on some commercial roofing with some labor and sales is my, my background. And so I kind of, I did it just to make ends meet for a little while and I learned so much. So uh, I was like, Hey man, you know, he presented an opportunity for me to, to sell for him. I was like, I, I think I can do it. You know, I've learned enough to know about roofing to be able to sell this for you. So I started selling for him for a few months. Um, and then uh, I saw the, the margins he was making and decided to uh, start our own company. So in March, 
uh, we pushed forward and um, I knew advertising and marketing is a key thing in any business. Uh, so I started doing my research um, and, you know, came across you guys um, a few months in. Um, I've got a little bit of background in, in website development and, um, and marketing, but not as proficient as you guys are. Um, and so I knew that I needed the help. I needed professionals because one, I didn't have the time to um, fine tune my, my skills and my background in it to, to get to the level I wanted it to be. Um, and so, you know, we found you guys online and I, I did my due diligence and um, watched all your videos online and reached out to some people, asked about their experiences with you guys. And, um, and then finally, I, I, you know, I got your emails, got signed up for your email marketing and just really got to know who you were without you even knowing who I was. I just yeah. lurked in the darkness for a while <laughs> in the shadows, just trying to, you know, get a feel of things. And I, I wish I moved forward sooner, but, um, yeah. you know, we had to do what I needed to do to feel comfortable with the company. Yeah. Um, what was a big breakthrough you had working with us? Uh, where were you like before you started working with us and where you are afterwards? Yeah. So, uh, before working with you guys, I had to generate all the leads myself. Um, I was a one man team. And so it was, and don't get me wrong, door knocking can be fun. Um, but it's not the most pleasing thing to do, uh, to create the leads. Yes, you can create leads that way, but it's a lot of work. Um, and so my phones weren't ringing. Um, you know, I, I would boost some Facebook ads here and there and maybe I get one or two calls, but, um, it, it just didn't seem to work on my end. I couldn't figure out how to keep my phones ringing consistently getting web forms. And, and, um, so when a lead did come in through my website, it'd be like maybe one or two a month, maybe three at most. And we need more than that to, to survive and to thrive. Um, so once I signed up with you guys and, and, and moved forward, uh, as partners with you guys, my uh, the first month, it was a little, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. Just share that, share that information because the first month was not not strong, right? It wasn't. Um, and there were some things we had to work through as far as, you know, the targeting. Okay. And, and that's with any given marketing strategy. You got to fine tune it and, and give the marketer uh, an opportunity to fine tune and to work back and forth because it's just as much effort on my side to work with you guys. Um, and that's been my struggle. If I would have responded quicker on some things, we, we could have fine tuned some things quicker. Um but yeah, it's when, when we've gotten things tuned up to where they needed to be uh, and dialed in, so to speak, uh, the phones just began to ring uh, more and more. And um, I'd say we're, we're almost on month five, uh, but this fourth month has been our most, uh, the phones consistently ring. Um, you know, yeah. it, we get, we're getting it at, at minimum one call a day uh, and we're doing the bottom dollar with you guys right now where we're yeah. at being a new company. We're, we're um, you know, we've got the lowest ad spend, um, but for the phone to ring every day, I think that's pretty awesome, pretty profitable. Yeah. And, and also I want to point out that, you know, he, we, the campaign really didn't take off really until the third month, I, I would say. Right. The third month. Yeah. And uh, he was getting some initial calls here and there, inconsistent in the beginning. Definitely. But now it's really ramped up. And the best thing is that it's like winter's coming right now. It's, it's November. It's cold. And even in November, you've had the best week, right? The last week you've had the best yeah. week. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Monday and Tuesday of this week, um, we've had about 10 calls and, and I think one web, web submission just in two days. And that's phenomenal. Um, my expectations were for it to slow down over the winter. Yeah. And, and it seems to be uh, excelling. Awesome. And yeah. what, the, what is the actual specific results you, you got in terms of the leads and in terms of the actual uh, deals you've closed? <clears throat> yeah, so let's just start with the very first one um, and then I'll, I'll progress into some other, yeah. others. So the very first lead I got, um, in which I'll open up into um, a little bit more of why I appreciate working with you guys as well. Uh, so the first call I got, it, it – um, or first closed job, should I say, ended up being a complete re-roof. Uh, the guy upgraded from shingle to metal. Um, it was about a $16,000 project. Um, and the roof, I mean, the roof was about a little over 20 squares, about 24 squares. Um, and <clears throat> so I, I met the, the homeowner 
And, um, you know, I talked with him, presented the bid. He loved it. He thought the numbers were great. But I had a rebuttal from him that I didn't know how to overcome. Um, it was, hey, I've got another contractor coming out. I need a few days to, to meet with him. And so I backed up. I said, because I've always been the no pressure type. And yeah. I think that really, it's just an excuse because we don't know how to handle rebuttals. Yeah. So with Colin, um, he's one of the business marketing uh, uh, guys with you guys. And he's really helped me. I was able to call him. I, I left there. I folded. Um, and I left. And I said, okay, you know, when's a good time to follow up with you? Blah, blah, blah. I uh, left and I called Colin and I, I gave him the rundown. He's like, here, this is what you need to do. You need to flip a UE and you need to go back and tell him, tell him this. And he gave me a good little rebuttal. Um, and I went back and within two minutes of knocking on that homeowner's door, uh, I was about 10 minutes away, turned around, knocked on the door, told him uh, what Colin told me to say word for word. He said, okay, come on in. I followed him in within two minutes. I had a signed contract and I left with a check and I was on the road again, calling Colin saying, Hey, we just closed this project because of what you told me to say. Uh, and it's simple things, but yeah. we build these strongholds in our mind where we yeah. don't know how to deal with the rebuttals. And that simple advice, it's been more than marketing. It's been more than an advertising company. You guys have helped me grow um, in my sales experience. And I, I, you know, you can't really put a price tag on that. It's amazing. That's yeah. Amazing. From from last conversation, I think you had with Cam, who's the who's the, your account manager. I think you've closed over one hundred and fifty thousand in deals. Yeah, it's so I can't remember exactly where we were at. It's been a little bit, um, but we we've definitely done over six figures in the in um, you know the short period of time we've been with you guys. Nice, nice. Yeah, and then you have a lot of deals in the pipeline, right? We do, uh, we do, and we've closed several more since we last wow. talked too. So. Um, right now we got a lot of repair work coming in, um, which is, is good too. Um, a lot of people want to run away from that. Uh, originally I did, but I'm starting to see the value in it. Um, as a new company, it's really helping us just, you know, get over the hump of some things. Yeah. The thing was with the repairs is that you do a great job because you're usually yeah. getting repair from another company, a roofing company that, that didn't do a good job. Right. Repair. And then when the time when the time comes to replace the roof, who's a, who's a, who are they going to call? They're going to call That's you. Right. Exactly. That's right. And then they can use that repair as a testimonial. Or you can use it as a uh, as a reference, asking for yeah. any references they have, and you can mm -hmm. do like a little six pack right around that specific area you're in. So it's a right. lot of value in getting those smaller deals. Um, just building your name out there. You're a new company, right? You've only been around since March, so you're getting right. your name out there and doing good work in the community, right? Yeah, absolutely. And I will say I've ran into several contractors in the area, um, well-known companies. They think we've been around forever. Um, they're seeing our name everywhere. Um, we're, I mean, we're right above um, the number one contractor in this area and they're wondering how we're doing it. Awesome. <laughs> so, awesome. Uh, I mean, awesome. only being in company uh, in business since March, they're like, they think we've been here forever. Nice. Uh, so it's a good thing. It's yeah. Um, you're on track to do how much in revenue you think this year? Um, right now we're at seven, seven sixty. Uh, I think we'll hit a million. Um, okay. I mean, we've got several out in the pipeline. Um, and so yeah, first year hitting a million. And, and the um, first year is like, in the, you didn't even start at the beginning of the year, you started in March. So right. you have like two yeah. months, uh, two months, uh, like you have only 10 months, really. It's not, not yeah. like 12 months. So. I can't yeah. wait till the next year. We're going to do next year. Yeah, um, I'm excited. Definitely. And, and who would you recommend us, us for? Like, What type of roofing company would you recommend us for? Any roofing company. I mean, really, from startup to uh, I've reached out, you know, like Tyler Melton with Proclaim. Um, I watched him. He was one of the influencers of me uh, getting involved as he was a large company and yeah. wanted to take it to the next level. And so uh, from the small startup, to the large companies, there's room for growth in any of them. And, and so I think it, just any roofing company that wants to grow, um, make the investment. It, it's investing. You, you might struggle at the beginning, but it's that fine tuning process that I talked about earlier that will truly um, get the results that you want. But you have to work as a roofing contractor. You got to set aside the time. And that's where I'm struggling right now is, yeah. you know, we get so busy and 
we have to set aside time to have conversations like this with you and with Colin and with Cameron um, and allow you guys to do what you guys do best. Help us grow our business. Uh, and there's been times it's like, oh, I got that meeting. I don't want to do it, but I do it. And then the results are there. You know, I set aside the hour, the two hours to, to have that conversation. Um, and it's not that I don't want to do it. It's just there's a hundred other things we've got to do as contractors. And, and so, but it's been very well worth my time to just slow down. And I, I'm paying you guys, so I might as well <laughs> you yeah. know, help, help every dollar go where it needs to go. So. I mean, we're very passionate about putting more money into our client's pocket. That's really what Absolutely. I was talking about. It's a pretty simple process. If you're making money, we're happy. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. Cool. And, and I, I agree. And it's, it's been a, uh, a wonderful experience this far. Awesome. Amazing, man. Yeah. Hey, Austin, I really appreciate your time. Absolutely, Mauricio. I appreciate you taking the time uh, as well um, and, and helping us out and, and grow.